Welcome back to the fourth session of JA It's My Business. This activity is titled I Have an Idea and it really allows the students to think about and to experience some of the creative ways that entrepreneurs have created businesses. This activity is going to allow you the opportunity to do an auction that the students can get to be part of. So after you kind of introduce um, um, the concepts and the ideas to the students using the prompting questions found in your side margins, you're going to jump into an auction, a class auction. What you'll notice is that each student needs a set of thousand dollar bills. There are ten of them, so there are a total of ten thousand dollars that each student is going to get. Depending upon the time that you have in your classroom, you can tear apart this money and put a paper clip on them, so all you have to do is hand out each student $10,000 or you can simply hand each sheet to a student and give them about 90 seconds to tear those apart within your classroom. Then what you're going to do is you are going to use these auction cards to allow the students to place bids. And again, the students may or may not be familiar with what an auction is. So spend just a little bit of time sharing what an auction is, what the role of an auctioneer is, and um, the whole idea of what a bid means and the responsibility of that highest bidder. What you're going to do is you are going to read three clues about this business to the students. After you read those three clues, the students are going to have the opportunity to bid on this company. They are not going to know what company is being bidded on. So once you do that, have the students bid against each other until they have the highest bidder. And once you have the highest bidder, make sure you take your money from them and then you can give them this company. And that new owner can reveal which company they purchased. For example, this one is the Walt Disney Company. And if there's time, they could highlight a couple of the key points about that entrepreneur or company. Again, that could take a lot of time, so you might want to abbreviate that. Or you might want to take a look at it beforehand and share a few of your key highlights to the students instead of having that new business owner do it. From there, you would start with the next company and again, start that bidding over. A couple of the things you should consider is that sometimes the students will intrinsically decide to team up with one another so that they can get a higher bidder. And this is a great way um, to integrate the concepts of a sole proprietor with having one owner, turning into a partnership with two owners, and then eventually if you have a whole bunch you can create a corporation. That's just an extra element that you can add into the curriculum if your students choose to start teaming up so that they can have a higher bidder. What you'll notice is that it's always great to do a practice round with the students before the auction actually starts. So the curriculum does provide an example about a company that does worm casting. So you can use that as your example but not collect money from the students. Finally, once all of the businesses are auctioned off, you'll notice there are only 10 of them. So if you have a class larger than 10, not every student is going to be able to get a company. If there is time at the end, you can allow the students to re-auction their item if they would like to. Now that they know the, the company, they may want to do a re-auction and if you feel comfortable and have time, you may allow them to do that as well. Again, to close out the activity, if you would like to, you can spend three minutes doing the learning challenge where you provide the students a piece of paper where they can brainstorm for three minutes a list to a list as many auction businesses as they can think of. If you choose to do the entrepreneur think tank portion, you can do that at this time, and then ultimately make sure that you have enough time to do the summary and review as a wrap up. Enjoy the session.